My name is Reverend Dr. Philemon Omondi Akach. I'm from Kenya. I have been having a back pain, lower back pain for 21 years, and I've also been having a neck pain that I cannot turn my neck. This is my medical report from Jaramogi Ogingudinga Referral Hospital in Kisumu, Kenya. We are looking at this medical report from Jaramogi Ogingodinga Teaching Referral Hospital in Kenya. It's a medical report for Dr. Philemon Akach Okenyi. This is where he went with his complaints of pain in his cervical spine. So they took an MRI where they noted several abnormalities, among which they noted he has got straightening of the spinal curvature, and also they noted that C5 to C7 vertebral bodies demonstrated presence of hyperintense rod-like structures, likely screws from previous intervention, because in the past he had surgery on his neck. So with all these abnormalities, he was diagnosed with cervical spondylosis, together with cervical disc desiccation and symmetrical bulges, with associated mild to moderate bilateral foramenal stenosis, and the disc above the exiting nerve roots at most levels. The father noted he has got central canal stenosis at C4 stroke 5 and C5 stroke 6 intervertebral levels. This is being confirmed by Dr. Manpreet. So presently, Reverend Dr. Philemon has got so much pain and difficulty. He cannot turn the neck, he wears a neck collar, and also walking is difficult. Bending is difficult because of these pains he has suffered for these 21 years. And the magnum Jesus. Behold the touch of Jesus' power upon him. Be here. By the blood of Jesus, receive your healing in Jesus' holy name. The mighty healer Jesus Christ has visited him to flash Father, out all thank this you. Pain. Bless your holy name. Rise up and go, you're free. Glory be to Jesus Christ. For once he says yes, no one can say no. The reverend is now rising up, removing the neck collar he has been using for support. Hallelujah, look at him turning the neck to God be the glory. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I am healed. Thank you so much, Jesus. Clap Thank those you hands for Jesus Christ. I can walk. I can do like a Kenyan I am. Thank you, Jesus. See what Jesus Thank has you, done. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Give God glory for this wonderful miracle. Thank you, Jesus. My name is uh, Reverend Dr. Philemon Abud Omondi Akach. Let me clarify. When you become a doctor in academics, you get your PhD. But from there, God raises you up to become a professor. So what is on the papers here is a doctor, but I'm actually a professor. So I'd like to reintroduce myself. My name is Reverend Professor Philemon Abud Omondi Akach. I am from Kenya. I came here with two problems, but they are connected. Came with a neck problem and a lower back problem. So let me start off with the lower back problem. The lower back problem came as a result of an accident I had 21 years ago. That was 2003 in South Africa. That rendered me admitted in hospital for two years. Both my legs were cut off symmetrically at the knees. My legs were put back together by doctors in South Africa and the tendons that were sticking out were sewn together by wire thread. Brethren, I had to learn to stand, not walk. I had to learn to stand. Then I took my first step as a baby. It was so painful. 
But anyway, as I was recuperating, I was released from hospital and I went back to the house with my family. One evening, as we were watching television with my wife, the children were in their rooms. I told my wife, let me go and rest. As I got up from my seat, I felt a pang of pain that I've never felt before. And I cried, not like a baby, but like a cat that was being strangled. And my wife told me, don't cry, the children will hear you. I said, let them hear me, they don't have the pain I'm feeling. <laughs> so I got up and she helped me to the bedroom, but the pain could not go away. My mouth was going to the side, but she thought I was being funny. But that is when she realized things were not good. She called my doctor and the ambulance came and I was rushed to hospital. Now they put me on a drip of painkiller and I felt so good immediately. I told the doctor, can I go back home? She said, no, 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 you have a problem. So they did a CT scan and they discovered that my vertebrae discs had been cracked and therefore my nerves were sticking out and being pressed on by the vertebrae. And that brought paralysis on one side, ladies and gentlemen. An operation was carried out and my bones, vertebrae was fused. They removed the old disc and put a new one. The new one was from a, you know, a young cow, a calf. I was thinking much later that maybe when I'm growing older, when you, when you hear me, mooing like a cow, then the bone would have been. Now, let, let, let me get now to the second part of, of my problems of coming here. In June last year, I felt numbness on my right hand, and it was so heavy that I had to sling it up. Then I started feeling pain around my neck. This really worried me. You see, I told you I got a PhD. I got a PhD in linguistics. I specialize in sign language. I'm a guru of sign language. I need my hands to sign to teach my students. Now my M has gone numb, what can I do? So I went to the doctor. Now the doctor sent me for MRI. When I brought it back, he said, this situation is so dire. If we operate on you, you might die on the operating table, or you will end up paralyzed, or you can live on paracetamols. Paracetamols are painkillers. Hey, <laughs> brethren, how do you choose to be operated on and say, operate on me, and I die on the operating table? or operate on me and I end up paralyzed. It's a tough choice. Ladies and gentlemen, I gathered courage, I put money together, and I went back to South Africa where my doctors who operated on me, the orthopedic surgeon, the neurosurgeon, and my GP are still alive and still working. I went there, I went for treatment, I was dumbfounded. They started up a, a, um, a process that was injecting some fluids into my spinal cord. Now, the fluid turns into rubbery sort of material, and that would cushion the vertebrae. But from that treatment, my arm was okay. But my neck, ladies and gentlemen, was a pain. I could not turn my head without severe pain. And sometimes when I turned it abruptly, it stuck there and it, it took time before it could come back in, into alignment. So that's why I was given a neck brace. The neck problem has been 10 months. I suffered with the lower back pain for 21 years. A friend of mine saw me with a neck brace and she asked me, what is, what is your problem? I explained it to her. And she said, you should go to Kampala to Prophet Samuel Kakande. I said, huh? 
She had been here with a friend who had brought a child that was not able to sit at all even in school. That in school she, was, she used to be, a bed used to be brought into the room so that she can lie and listen to the teacher. She was cured. I started watching Prophet Samuel Kakande on YouTube. And every time I watched, I saw people with neck problem and back problem. I told my wife, I have to go to Kampala. She told me, your faith will heal you. And I said, I am faithful. <laughs> so brethren, I'm here. We were warned that you have to watch Prophet Kakande directly, direct in his eyes. Now, uh, if it was not for healing, those are not eyes to look at. <laughs> his eyes, you see some lightning sort of movement. The next thing you know, you are tumbling, but you're not even afraid of the tumbling. You just let yourself down. When I was lying there on my back, I felt like some ice had been dropped into my spinal cord. I felt a cold that, I think you, you only have to die to be in the morgue to feel that cold. And that's why you see from the video, I got up, because my neck was the wearing thing, right? I remove it immediately so that I can feel that, that cold, what was it for? So I remove it immediately and ladies and gentlemen, go and tell other people, you saw it. I turned it immediately and not halfway, not bit by bit, I turned it. <laughs> and I turned it. That, <laughs> brethren, on oh, the back is okay. Look, see what Jesus has done for him. Yeah. I am 73 years old, as you see me here, but I feel like 16. I can turn my head, I can turn this way, see you? And I can walk majestically. No problem. All right. At 73, I can take a little job. Hallelujah. Now, I am a teacher, and standing is the name of our game. 21 years, I was having a lot of problems standing, but I was being given anti-inflammatory tablets that took me through the day. But coming back home in the evening, it would be a lot of pain. And if I forgot or I ran out of the medicine, ladies and gentlemen, I pretended to sit properly. I pretended to get up in public, but at home my wife knew. So I would uh, cry out, Aah! but not outside in the, in the public. This is how I used to sit. Get the support first and go down. Then pretend to smile. On getting up, sometime I could forget to get up abruptly and that would be my torture. So over the years, I learned to get the support again and get up. <clears throat> but check this now. And check this now. Now, as I'm standing here, I want to thank Lord Jesus Christ. And I want to thank his servant, his prophet, prophet Samuel Kakande for his prayers. 
And I want to, <laughs> I want to talk to people about COVID and to tell them this. Don't be sick. Suffer in hiding, in shame. Your position does not matter. If you have faith, you can be cured. I want to talk to fellow academics that when you are sick and you have tried all you can and you didn't succeed, this is the place to come. You have been to many hospitals and you spent a lot of money. Many hospitals, different doctors. Why not try a different doctor? Prophet Samuel Kakande. If you do, you will feel the way I am feeling. My good Lord Jesus Christ, thank you. This one, I'm not going to separate it. I'm going to drop it like a... I don't need it anymore. Jesus has given me back my neck and my movement through his servant, Prophet Samuel Kakande. Amen. And I'm going to give this message in sign language. Uh, I don't speak because uh, uh, English or Ijaluo or any language is different from, from sign language. So as I give this message to my deaf friends around there, Okay, let us all put our hands, both hands, put both hands together. can't hear us, uh, but they, the Lord Jesus Christ and God hear their language. I have uh, I've told them who I am, why I was here, and how I've been uh, prayed for, and now I am well. And so I've asked the congregation now that we say hallelujah. Everybody, can we say amen? Can we clap for Jesus? Put your hands together for Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus, and thank you, Prophet Kakande, for praying for me. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Together, let us bless the name of the Lord.